Hello folks, in today's session we are going to start to learn about TypeScript and its basic types. What is TypeScript? TypeScript is an open source programming language developed and maintained by Microsoft. It is a strict synthetical superset of JavaScript with support of optional type checking. In short, we can define it as static type superset of JavaScript. Let's talk about variable declarations. TypeScript encourages to use let and const keywords to declare a variables instead of using var keyword. Why can't we use traditional var keyword? By using let and const keyword to declare a variables, we can avoid redeclaration of same variable and also it supports black level scoping using let and const keywords to declare a variable is considered as standard and safer than using traditional var keyword to declare a variable let's begin with basic data types So I'm gonna declare a variable with boolean type. So boolean accepts true or false value. So I declared a variable and initialized a value to it and what if I try to assign a non boolean value to that variable maybe a string so compiler throws us an error saying that type high is not assignable to the type boolean so this is how static type checking works based on our assigned data type so next data type is number the type is number so I'm assigning 0 Again, same try. What if I try to assign a string value to the variable which is declared with a data type number? Again, a compiler throws an error saying that type high, basically, a string is not assignable to the type number. and then string so I'm going to try assigning a number to a string variable so what are saying type 0 basically a number is not assignable to the type string and then what if you want to declare a sentence basically what if you want to span a multiple lines with embedded expressions so in that case using the traditional way of doing it is not more readable and let's see how we can do it in TypeScript so we can call it as I'm 
let's ring so we can can initialize a value with a uh, back to if you want to you know use a string as well uh, you know if you want to span a uh, multiple uh, lines together along with some embedded expressions then it may help you So now we can add embedded expression to this template string. Let's see how it forms and sentence by simply logging it let's see so we are uh, actually trying to span multiple lines together and on the way we are using the embedded expressions as well let's talk about uh, type array so we can declare an array using two different methods one is just giving in type of elements for the square brackets so in this case I'm going to consider the type as number then the second method is by using the generic array type with the number of elements enclosed by angle brackets something like this so it's totally up to you so which method uh, you need so both are fine then the type tuple so type tuple is used to express array with a fixed number of strictly type elements those types can be different need not to be the same for example if you see here uh, this is also an array but uh, in this case we strictly uh, declared the type into the number so what if you try to assign a string inside that so it is it is saying type string is not assignable to the type number so that means our we are uh, strictly saying that this array has to be uh, with the elements of type number so what if you needed uh, an array where you can declare two different types with a limited number of elements so in that case tuple may use So if you noticed, so we can, uh, yeah, we can use uh, two different types. I mean, not only two, more than that. So based on your uh, requirement, and then we can assign 
the value to that variable based on the element type order that we declared while variable creation so what i'm trying to say is what if i try to declare sorry try to initialize a value by not following the order of the type that we given while variable creation let's see uh, first enter the type string and then type number so it's complying the type string is not assignable to the type number so it's strictly following the order so you should be doing something like this so if you want to access a particular element with the known index something like this so in this case we do have two values that means 0 and 1 index if you try to access the first index that means uh, the string value and you can still access it let's see how it if you see the value is string and what if uh, you try to access and property which is not present in our array something like this so in that case uh, it will end up with an error saying that tuple type number and string of length 2 has no element at index 3 that means you are not having the uh, element type declared as well uh, it is limited to the given number of elements so it's an invalid case so uh, i think we have covered uh, as we planned uh, the five different basic types then i would like to highlight the features one is uh, intelligence and the second one is static type checking if you noticed these two are dependent on the type that we declared while doing the variable creation and these two features are have some features and very useful all right let's conclude uh, what we have learned in this session so we started with uh, the typescript in brief and then variable declarations using led and const keywords and then uh, the basic data types boolean number string so inset string uh, using the template string and then array tuples and then the features intelligence and the uh, static type checking all right folks uh, that's all for today's session let's continue the rest basic types in an upcoming session thanks and see you in next one